Welcome to The Wine Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. In today's episode, I am reviewing a product from Fixero, which is the M.2 NVMe USB 3 hard drive enclosure meant for NVMe drives. And this is a very important tool for me as I continue on my YouTube journey. So the question you might be having is, what is it and what does it do? And the first thing I'll answer is, what does it do? Well, as you can see here, I have the 14 inch base MacBook Pro that I've been using for about six months now. And this, since this is the base model, it only comes with 512 gigabytes of hard drive capacity. And as a YouTube content creator filming and editing in 4K footage, it's really not a lot of space and it quickly fills up. And so what I need is I need an external hard drive to store all my uh, video files on when I'm doing editing. I use DaVinci Resolve 18, so it saves all my caching as well. And it's important I have a lot of high capacity hard drive as well as the speed to go back and forth between the data transfers. And so this Fixero USB hard drive enclosure allows me to put in any NVMe hard drive in it, uh, any capacity that I want. And so right now I have a one terabyte Kingston KC3000 NVMe uh, stick of hard drive in here. In today's video, I'm gonna go through the features and functions of the USB 3.2 hard drive from Fixero. I'm gonna show you how to install an NVMe SSD into the hard drive enclosure. I'm gonna connect it to my MacBook Pro and show you how to initialize the hard drive and use it as an external USB hard drive. As you're watching this video, if you have any questions, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. This is the Fixero M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure and the model is YDB10C3. It allows up to 10 gigabytes per second data rate. And I am pairing this with the Kingston KC3000 series. It's PCIe 4 compatible. It's 1024 gigabytes and it reads up to 7,000 megabytes per second. So I'm pairing these two together and to be used as a portable drive for my MacBook Pro when I do video editing. And I like the fact that because of the speed and the portability factor, that this is gonna be a great tool for me to use with my MacBook Pro. One thing about the Fixero is this is a toolless enclosure. So when I open this up, this is the enclosure itself. Uh, it is hard plastic. Uh, has a nice design, has some uh, nice groove design here. When you open it up, here is the enclosure to install your NVMe drive. In terms of accessories, comes with an instruction book, comes with a heat pad, Comes with the metal bracket. Comes with the plastic screws that will hold the NVMe drive into the enclosure. And it comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. In terms of the cable, it does have the 10 gigabytes per second logo on here, which I'm hoping that it can read and write that fast uh, as a USB-C cable. Uh, so one end's USB-C and the other end's USB-A. And then nice that has an adapter that could be USB-A or Type-C depending on what machine you use it on. So that is a nice bonus for this cable. So let's take a quick look at the enclosure. So right off the bat has the Fixer logo right on the top. It is hard plastic, it has some design grooves to it. Uh, USB-C at the top here. And there's not much to it. It's nice and small, and I like the fact it's toolless. They can just slide open and you can have access to your NVMe drive if you need to switch it out at any point. Um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this up and we'll install it. Here is the KC3000 NVMe. Here is the KC3000 NVMe M.2 drive from Kingston. It's a nice little logo design on here. I, I really like that. Um, on the back, it just says it's 1,024 gigabytes made by Kingston. And uh, 
has a five year warranty on there. All right, so in terms of the installation process it's pretty straightforward. Um, so we wanna match up the pins to the pins here. So I'll slide it in. And then there's a knob to slide the ends on. And I just push it down. And just like that, it is pretty much installed. I can shake it, it doesn't come out. I can move it around, it doesn't come out. So you can see it's held in there pretty solid from this rubber, this rubber stop here. Now that the NVMe drive is installed, you want to install the heat pad on there to dissipate the heat while you're using it. It's a two-way sticky tab. I'm just gonna stick it right here on here, covering the Kingston logo. And it also comes with this metal heat sink that you just place over. So what the heat sink is supposed to do with the heat pad is as it's heating up, it should, the heat pad will kind of dissipate it through the metal bracket there. So again, I'm just gonna double check. Everything's in. Looks good. Everything's still secure. It's not moving. I'm moving out. With the click, it's nice and secure. You can move it around, so nothing's coming out. And that was a very painless and easy way and toolless way to install NVMe.drive into the Fixero hard drive enclosure. And that is it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect it to my MacBook Pro. We'll do some benchmarking to see if it actually reaches the 7,000 megabytes per second and then also to make sure that everything is working correctly, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to plug one end into the hard drive enclosure and the other end into my MacBook Pro. When you initially plug it into your computer, a warning is going to come up. Um, don't panic. It says this disk you're attached was not readable by the computer. Just because it's a new hard drive, it hasn't been initialized or recognized by the computer. It hasn't been properly formatted. So in this case, you want to select initialize. So wait, it takes you to the disk utility. And then when it takes you to the disk utility, just hit erase. And then you want to name what your NVMe drives would be. So I'm going to name it MacBook Pro External. In this case, because I want to use this external hard drive for my Windows PC and my Mac OS, I'm going to choose the X format. So regardless if it's a Mac PC or Mac OS, I'm going to plug it in, it can still read and write off of it. So in this case, I am going to use XFAT. I will do a video later on explaining between APFS, Mac OS Extended, and XFAT, but uh, in this case, it will be XFAT. So once I decide my settings, in this case, it's using the XFAT. Uh, once I've decided what settings it is, I'm just gonna confirm my settings, hit race. It's gonna go through its process, and then once it's erased, I'll convert it format to XFAT, and it says it's done, just click done. Now, if I take a look, I'm gonna do some speed test. Just to see how fast it is. And so it's a read write speed up to 900 megabytes per second and read speed of 912 megabytes per second. So uh, this is pretty fast. I'm pretty happy with uh, the speed of the hard drive once it's connected. All right, so that wraps up my video of the Fixero USB 3.2 NVMe hard drive enclosure. Overall, my conclusions, there's nothing wrong with it. And the top reason why is it is toolless. Again, it's very easy to install a new NVMe SSD. It's very convenient USB cable with the USB-C and USB-A adapter. I quickly plug it in and I can see transfer speeds up to 900 megabytes per second, which is 
really important for me as I transfer a lot of footage and do uh, video editing on DaVinci Resolve using it as a cache drive. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I am gonna leave two Amazon links in the description below. Fixera was gracious enough to offer a coupon code for people watching the video. So if you're interested in purchasing this product, check out the links below. It has the coupon code that you can enter that will give you a 20% discount off the retail price of the Fixera products. All right, thank you guys for watching and until next time.